Hello all, today we will see about the technical aspects behind breastfeeding. What is happening during this breastfeeding? We will see. There are two hormones involved in breastfeeding. One is called as a prolactin which is also called as a milk secreting hormone. Another hormone is called as an oxytocin which is called as a love hormone or cuddle hormone. First we will see about the prolactin. This hormone is secreted along with estrogen and progesterone during the time of pregnancy itself. So what is the action of this hormone during the pregnancy? It will promote your breast development. So after delivery, the estrogen and progesterone level will fall and this prolactin will come into action immediately. Whenever your baby starts sucking on your breast, the impulses will be sent to your brain immediately and the prolactin will be secreted from your breast and it will act on milk secreting cells and then start producing milk. Next, uh, what is the beauty of this hormone? This prolactin hormone will be secreted more during the night time. So when you feed your baby more frequently during the night time, your baby will get more feeding compared to the daytime. So next we will see about the oxytocin which is called as a love hormone. This hormone is not only secreted during the time of feeding but even before the time of feeding itself. Not only by sucking of the baby stimulates this hormone secretion but also by thinking about the baby and even after seeing the baby this hormone will be secreted from your brain. And mother will feel the tingling sensation in the breast and even a mother will leak milk from the breast by seeing the baby itself. Hence this hormone is also called as a love hormone. We will see about the cells involved in breastfeeding. There are two types of cells in the breast that will help in feeding your baby. One is called as an alveolar cells which is also called as a milk secreting cells. These cells are acted upon by the hormone called prolactin. Whenever your baby sucks on your breast, the impulses will be sent to the brain. So as I already told, the prolactin hormone will be secreted. It will be acted on these milk secreting cells and milk will be produced and it will be flowing through the duct and it will be collected in a large channel which is called, uh, we will call as lactiferous sinuses. These are present just below the black area of your nipple which is called as an areola. Next, we will see about the next cells which is called as a muscle cells. What are these muscle cells? These cells are present just around the uh, milk secreting cells. This is acted upon by the oxytocin hormone. Whenever your baby sucks on the milk, the milk will be produced by the milk secreting cells. So how is the milk ejected? These muscle cells contract these milk secreting cells. So the milk will be ejected out through the nipple.